Hello, Ross here with another quick tip. Uh, today we're going to be covering part two of the UVW pass and how to apply in dose. Uh, today I have a new scene. This scene is a little bit more appropriate for uh, UV pass. Uh, we're going to be putting a logo on the side of the helmet. So uh, one extra thing you're going to need before you hop into post is to UV your object, whatever you want to put a texture on top of. Uh, so in this case, my helmet, I want the sides of it UV'd, uh, so this way I can place whatever I want on the side. Uh, so these are my UVs, and I'm gonna save out an image uh, of this UV. So I'm gonna assume you guys already know how to do that, and we're gonna jump right over to After Effects. So this is our scene here. I already rendered it out. Um, we're gonna be placing a texture that's gonna follow our animation onto this helmet. And we're gonna need our mat. So let's grab our puzzle mat. Then we're gonna need the green channel. And let's name this helmet mat. Let's put it into our comps. We're gonna need our UV pass. as a comp, and we're also gonna need our texture. So these are my UVs I saved out of Cinema. Uh, we can just call this helmet texture because we're gonna be using this as our guide to place our logo. Uh, so let's put guide layer. Um, and let's just put our smiley faces into position. So I want the smiley face to kind of fit very snug right around there. Okay, so we have that and our texture. So let's jump into our main comp. Let's put our UV pass, our texture, and our mat down at the bottom. Let's grab our UV pass, put it at the very top. And as you can see here, our UV pass is everything. We, all we want is the helmet. So let's put the track mat onto our mat and turn it active. And now let's just focus on the side of the helmet, which is what we want. Uh, so the one thing we're gonna need is a plugin called Remap UV. Uh, this plugin allows after Effects to read your uh, UV pass. So we're gonna plug our texture, very similar to material, uh, to our helmet texture. So it's reading your, your UVs uh, from Cinema and using your UV pass to apply it correctly onto your top of your render. Uh, so as you can see here, it's following my render. So this is super powerful because not only can you create uh, quick revisions, you can also apply your reflections and your specular and anything else that you want to have on top of your logo. So you can really create a refined render, uh, but edits can be made on the fly, so iterations can be very quick and it's just an overall time saver. So I hope you guys learned something and have a good day. Thank you.